So I recently purchased the uh, Strike Master 24 volt electric eye solder, and it's been great to me so far. It's awesome. It's light. It's uh, it punches holes really fast. It's got reverse. Um, it's got these plastic fins, and I love it. I mean, it's it's the best eye solder I've ever owned. Um, but the biggest drawback with the 24 volt is the battery life compared to the 40 volt. Uh, you just have less capacity, so you can't poke as many holes. Uh, and as someone who likes to poke a bunch of holes when you're on a piece of structure and try and find the right spots, uh, that is a drawback. So I, I looked into buying another battery for it, but the Strike Master ones are about $100 each. And so I went on YouTube and I found a, a conversion. The Greenworks battery is actually the exact same battery, just with a different label, essentially. Um, and I think the one that I just bought was about $70 on Amazon, so you're saving you know, 30 bucks um, for a quick conversion. And there is a 5 amp hour battery. Uh, the one that comes with Strike Master uh, is 4 amp, and I bought the 4 amp hour battery, but there is a 5 amp hour that I'd like to see if that fits as well. But in this video, um, I'm going to take a Greenworks battery and I'm going to try and convert it to fit into the Strike Master slot um, and on the charger. It should be pretty easy, but uh, this is my first time doing it. I've seen a couple people on YouTube that did it, but they didn't really show it in depth and how to actually um, convert it. So uh, I guess you're going to be on the ride with me to uh, figure this out and see if it works. So let's see. All right, so I have the uh, auger on the table, and I just wanted to quickly show you um, where the problem lies with just directly putting the Greenworks battery in. Um, you can't do that because on the Strike Master battery, there's this small channel right here, which does not appear on the Greenworks battery. Otherwise, they're just about the same battery. As you can see, there's no channel here. So, we need to carve out a small little channel in order to slide it into this groove right here. There's one right here. Other than that, they're identical. I mean, as you can see from the side, the top, I'll even show you the front. The front is identical except for maybe, yeah, the, the lettering is a little different. They definitely put different stickers on it. But yeah, it's the exact same battery. Same capacity, same output. Exact same battery, about 30 bucks cheaper. So. We're going to bring it over to the workbench, we're going to get a slot carved right here, and then it should fit on and work perfectly. Okay, so I have both batteries here, and I found this nail, and it fits perfectly into the slot that I need to carve out. So I'm going to take a tape measure and mark the center of this, and then I'm going to carve it out with a Dremel. I'm going to, I believe I'm going to just start right in the middle, carve a slot, and then we'll see if the nail fits. If not, which I'm assuming it won't, I'll work out a little bit on each side until I can fit this in. So, I'm going to find center. If I had a digital caliper, it might be a little more accurate, but I don't believe it needs to be super accurate. It just needs to slide over since we're not actually, you know, um, contacting any electrical pieces. We're just trying to get it over that fin that's in, uh, within the Strike Master. So, I've got 5 sixteenths here. So, I'm going to mark out you know, about two and a half. And then I'll go to the back, mark out another two and a half, roughly, and then connect those two lines so I just have some sort of gauge of where I'm supposed to be cutting. Now as far as depth, that I believe I'm just going to eyeball and just compare and then you know, I'll keep bringing it back to the auger and seeing if it slides on or off and, and how easily it slides on or off. So I'm going to get the Dremel and uh, start cutting. So I found this cutting disc. Um, it doesn't look great. I used to have some different ones, but they broke. Uh, this is the smallest one I have to fit in here. Um, so we'll see if it does the trick. Otherwise, we might have to find out uh, a different method. <laughs> So 
I did go a little too far here. You can see that I actually went through uh, the plastic. There's a little bit of a hole there. Yeah. So there's a little hole right there. Went too far, but I think it should be fine. Um, and then I think I'm going to take some sort of chisel or knife and try and get a square edge back here because uh, that rounded Dremel bit uh, won't get back there. And I don't want to go too far because I don't know what's back here. I know that there is this USB port and I don't want to ruin that. So, let's see. Okay, so I was able to uh, cut some of it out except for that last little bit right here. Um, so I'm going to grab, I think, a pliers and just try and break that off. But what I found was that it's actually, it's kind of hollow in there. So I don't think this whole centerpiece really has much to do with anything other than uh, making it so these batteries can be proprietary, potentially. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll break this little piece off and then we'll throw it on the, uh, the auger and see what, what happens. I think with, you know, this locking mechanism and these, like, fins right here and these ones, the battery will hold in place just fine. It's just that we need to be able to bypass that, that centerpiece. So, let me grab the, the pliers and let's break that off. Alright, I got the pliers. I'm going to grab this little piece right here and just see if I can get that out of there. Pretty close. I think I still need to clean up the back side a little bit, so I'm going to just try and carve it out. There we go. That looks pretty good. Knock out any loose pieces. Yeah, see there's a big piece of plastic. And our final product is not pretty. Not at all. But, if it does the job, it doesn't really matter. You're not going to see that anyways. Here's the, uh, the original. And here's the modified. <laughs> Not pretty. But, we'll see. Alright, here we go. Here's the moment of truth. I haven't uh, even tested this yet. So, uh, hopefully it works. Hopefully it slides on. Oh, I got it on. I did have to push a little bit. I think uh, I might have some pieces in there that need to be cleared out, but if I kind of force it, it'll go down. Oh, and we got power. All right, look at that. So I think what I need to do is bring it back to the workbench, clean it out a bit because it doesn't want to slide on on its own if I just push it like that. But if I give it a good, it's on. So I'll bring it back, clean it out, and we'll see if we can get it better. All right, so I brought it back to the workbench, um, cleared it out a bit. I think some of the edges were catching. Um, so I cleared those out, and I actually didn't even use the nail, as you can see. I just uh, cut the whole top off of this little rectangular piece in here, um, squared up all the edges, and I just did that with a razor blade. Um, so, you know, the Dremel was nice to get it started, but the razor blade actually did most of the uh, important work. So. I'll uh, slide it on for you guys. It fits like a glove now. It's perfect. Yeah, so uh, the best thing about this too, aside from the price, is there's a little USB slot right here. Um, you can slide that out and you can power your phone. So when you're out on the ice, rather than having to bring, you know, external battery packs, you can, uh, you know, charge your phone, charge your GoPro, charge your uh, you know, headlamp or whatever you got out there that takes a USB. Uh, that's something that the Strike Master battery did not include. So not only are you saving some money for the same battery, but you get a little added bonus of uh, a phone charger or something out on the ice. Okay, so I just wanted to verify that the Greenworks battery charges properly. So I'm going to plug the Strike Master in and you get the green blinking light. So now when I try the Greenworks, I should get that same light. Looks good to me, so everything is good to go. I guess the only drawback that I could see from uh, from doing this little modification would be that the three-year warranty that Greenworks provided is most likely void after uh, cutting a giant chunk out of it. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I think it's worth you know saving that 30 bucks and having an extra battery. 
and also having this little USB slot. Um, I can't see anything going wrong with this battery. Well guys, I uh, hope this video helped and got you some extra battery power out on the ice and saved you a little bit of money. Um, in a future video, I'll probably be addressing the 5 amp hour battery and seeing if the dimensions are the same. Amazon said the dimensions were the same, but I didn't trust it, so I didn't order it yet. I'll have to look at the, the manufacturer website um, and see if maybe there's a few extra cells in here. It would be nice if each one of these batteries was actually 5 amp hour and lasted a little bit longer. Um, so maybe I'll be doing the same thing in the future with this. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys have done this too. Um, and let me know if it helped you out. I'll see you in the next one.